Well, now to a KXY4 exclusive story tonight. Spokane police have a new high-tech tool to investigate crimes. Several officers are training to use this laser scanner, which gives investigators a view of crime scenes like they've never seen before. Not only is the device incredibly accurate, police say it will save time investigating serious car accidents and even murders. KXY4 Kyle Simchuk working for you now with an exclusive look at how it works. Kyle? Well, the department just started training officers a few weeks ago, but they're already seeing the benefits this laser scanner has to offer for investigators, even juries. It's only 12 pounds and about the size of a purse, but this device will soon change the way Spokane police collect evidence. You set it up within a couple of minutes of, of being on scene. Ben Mablethorpe is one of several officers training to use the department's newest high-tech tool. It's less bulky, it's smaller, it's more, more uh, mobile, we can move it around a scene faster. Documenting crime scenes and car crashes has always been a painstaking process of taking photos and measurements. This new laser scanner can do both with the push of a button in a matter of minutes. It starts scanning and, and uh, collects uh, over 2 million points a, a second, uh, and it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes, depending on the resolution that you want. But this scanner does more than take photos and measurements. It builds a three-dimensional map, which investigators can study months, even years after a crime occurs. I mean, this can be used in any major crimes case or collision investigation. Um, anything that, that the detectives may need more in-depth uh, photographs and uh, measurements. And it's not just detectives that will be studying these 3D scenes. scenes. Maplethorpe says prosecutors better, can use them as well. It makes it a whole lot easier for, for juries to kind of put themselves into a scenario of, of what might have occurred. Other features are still being explored, and the department started training officers only a few weeks ago. We're in the learning process. It's always going to be a learning process, especially with technology constantly evolving and software constantly evolving.